putting creative workers to work part one. If you watch my first two videos introducing the WPA, you already know the WPA is a super radical program for its time. In many ways, our time, but we don't wanna just do the same thing all over again, especially with some of the limitations and inequities it had. Ooh, honestly, we have not changed enough. <laughs> Racism. So what are we doing now? Well, in a true Adventures Assemble moment, over 100 arts organizations and advocates have put together something called the Put Creative Workers to Work Proposal, or PCWW. And we're talking all 50 states, Washington, D.C., and Puerto Rico all coming together so that when we build back, we build back better with jobs for arts workers. Okay, right now, the PCWW has six big ideas. Number one, and this is a sexy one. Install a secretary of arts and culture. Now, most countries already have this. We're the weird ones. You want to know how many? More than 50, okay? We deserve representation at the upper levels because arts workers contribute 919 billion b -b -b billion with a B to the economy, y'all. Come on. Come on. I got more to say, y'all. Part two is already up. Put Creative Workers to Work Part 2 now. Check out my last video for Part 1 where I talk about how thousands of arts advocates and organizations had their Avengers Assemble moment and came together to make a proposal that could change arts workers' lives forever. Caught up? Wait, hold on. While you do that, I'm going to blot. Great. Okay. Put Creative Workers to Work. Big idea number two. Let's go local. We need to give communities the tools they need to create local economies that include arts workers and, you know, let's maybe focus on communities who need the resources and have historically been excluded, you know, just as I. ECWW Big Idea number three, commissions, fellowships, and residencies for arts workers. Now I came on here to deliver some facts for y'all. Did you know that study after study after study proves that arts and culture dramatically improve social and economic outcomes for communities? Now when I say dramatic, I mean more dramatic than this. This or this, yes, queen. Ooh, it's dramatic, okay? By creating jobs for arts workers, we invest in our community's economic recovery. Google AmeriCorps, arts workers should be able to use that. I'll see you here for part three. With creative workers to work, part three. Now I've been talking so fast, I really need some water. Whoo! BCWW big idea number four invest in arts education. Ready to have your mind blown? Okay. If arts work is work, then arts education is really vocational learning like shop or computer science. It's not an extracurricular. Arts education is educational vocation. What? It's actually vocational education that teaches future arts workers valuable career skills and cultivates lifelong arts audiences. PCWW big idea number five, the arts and the internet. Now this panorama pancetta pancake has made it very clear how important the interwebs are. We should provide programs that train arts workers so that they're able to take advantage of it. Also, can we make broadband access universal already? ACW big idea number six, benefits. Okay, it's not easy when you're freelance or an independent contractor to apply or receive benefits. Can we make that easier for unemployment, small business, and food? That was a lot. Check the link in our bio to learn how to lobby our government and make PCWW real.